Hey everybody, JW again. Uh, the other day we left off uh, a tutorial on how to change the tempo of a song. And today I want to do a tutorial on how to speed that song up or slow it down for whatever reason you may need. Um, I actually need that same song that we were working on before uh, to be slowed down for a friend of mine and um, I'm going to use a program called Studio One. I'm going to open that up now. Studio One is an excellent, excellent audio uh, editing software, recording software, um, all the way up to a mastered uh, CD. Uh, recording project or, or anything like that that you have in mind. Um, Studio One does have an artist version which doesn't allow you to record CDs or burn CDs um, but the Studio One Professional does and I will put a link in the description on where you can get Studio One and I guess in short I mean if if you're into audio um, you like doing audio work or you have a band or, or something like that this is one of the easiest interfaces I've seen out there uh, it's it's packed full of features and uh, it's just a great product to use so when you get Studio One you can uh, create a new song when you open this up this is what you'll see um, I'm going to create a new song and I'm going to call this Tempo Change again. And <clears throat> the settings right here you really don't need to worry about except for one. And remember that song was, uh, we set, we found out that the tempo or BPM of that song was 114. So I'm going to set it at 114. And I want to make sure that the time stretch audio files to song tempo is checked. And hit OK. Now it doesn't bring in the track automatically. Um, it's You'll go over here to your browse. Um, my volume is going to be in the files. I have the song on my desktop, um, so you would click desktop, uh, go down to You've Got a Friend in Me, um, or the song, whatever song you're working with, and you would just pull that right in and drop it after it snaps to zero. And that's pretty much it as far as getting it into Studio One. Um, so what I want to do is actually I want to slow the song down but I don't want it to change the pitch or tone of the music or make it sound warbly or funny or anything like that. Um, and Studio One does a great job of this and how you would do that is go over to this I which is the song inspector and you would go down to where it says event FX and just drag this up a little bit so you can see what's going on down there. I won't bother going over all of this. Um, I'm actually not a professional at this program. I just know how to use uh, some of its features. I'm, I'm, I'm learning still myself, but uh, uh, it recorded our last CD project in my band and it turned out absolutely fantastic. And, uh, I couldn't be happier. So you want to go down to where it says file tempo and it says it's not set. And we're going to match it up with this one that we had set when we opened the song because that's that's what we found out the tempo of that song was. So we'll put this at 114 and hit enter. And from here you can close that out if you like and and I'll even expand this you'll see where the uh, cursor changes to this little triangular emblem up and down with a line in the middle and just click and drag it and you can expand your audio track 
and you can see what what is going on in here um, <clears throat> we know that the um, the song tempo was at 114 so that's beats per minute and right now my clock over here is set at seconds so all I'd have to do is click on this and set it to bars and beats and uh, that that would be your bar uh, and beats per minute and it doesn't matter really what you set this at um, I like it seconds because I work with uh, timing issues and stuff with this friend of mine that I'm doing this work for so seconds is easier for me alright so I'm gonna play this song so you can hear a little bit of it and what it sounds like <laughs> You got friend in me and you've got friend in me when the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice old bed you just remember what your old pal said yeah you got the friend in me Baby. okay so that sounds pretty decent now I want to slow this song down and the only thing I have to do at this point is hover over top of the tempo and I'm using you can either punch this in or you can use your mouse wheel and I want to go down to 106 beats per minute and you see when I did that that it stretched it out alright I'm gonna play the song again and you'll hear that it didn't change the music the pitch or tone or make any weird noises. So let's play this again. You got friend in me, and you've got friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice old bed, you just remember what your old pal said. Yeah, you got the friend in me, baby. All right. So you can hear that it didn't change the music, the pitch, the tone, uh, 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 and make these really weird artifacts and stuff like that so like I said this is a great program for this it made it really easy for me uh, once, I, once I learned how to do it so suppose I wanted to speed this song up so I would just go down here and hover over this and go the other way with the mouse wheel and say let's let's go to like 130 make this really really fast and uh, give you a listen and uh, you be the judge you got friend in me and you've got friend in me when the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from the nice old bed You just remember what your old pal said Yeah, you got the friend in me And that's pretty much it, my friends uh, it, You can't get much simpler than that to speed up or slow down a song without, without messing the song up um, There's lots of reasons you may want to do this um, I uh, I like I like it for the fact that if there's something that I want to learn, it's a complicated song and it's just a little bit too quick for me to get, uh, like playing the guitar or uh, doing a bass part or something like that. Then I can slow it down and and really listen to what's going on in it and 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 play along with it and stuff like that and it really really is a great tool um, so 
now that this song is at 106, is exactly what I needed it at. The only thing um, that I have to do from here is export it uh, and send it off to the person that needs it. And you may be wondering why this is in the red right here. That's a that's a clip, and the reason that it clipped, uh, just so I'll stretch this out so you can see, right. These wave points, these are your peaks, and sometimes in a uh, recorded professional version, there's so many things that they do to this with effects and reverb and stuff like that. Sometimes these points will go, uh, they will go over the zero volume limit, and like this one right here did. So that would make it clip once it got to that point. And you can adjust this um, in Studio One just by grabbing this little square block and pulling it down. It will drop the volume of the song. Um, but I'm going to leave it as it was because I don't need to do anything to that. But I just thought I would point that out. Um, so from this point, if I want to export it, I would go to this little gray triangle here and I would drag this over it makes like a marker and I would drag it over to the song ending I can stretch that out and get it accurate I don't have to but I will and I would go to the song export mix down and it's going to give me where I want to mix it down to I'm just going to say the desktop hit select folder um, I'll name this tempo change um, if you go to format uh, you can it gives you a couple of different options here it's a wave file which is what it was to start with um, I can send it back as an mp3 file and these other versions are, are uh, just different um, operating systems that it recognizes like uh, I believe your AIFF file is for like iTunes <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> but I'm gonna <clears throat> excuse me again I'm gonna send this back as an mp3 and I've already checked it off and uh, I got this set between the loop, which is, this is a loop or a marker. Um, preferring to a loop, I can go into that later. It's like if, if I had this set with just into a little section of the song, that would be a loop. And I could just go play that part back and forth, back and forth. Um, between the song start and end marker, uh, that's what I have here right now and I would just select that and hit OK and it's going to tell me that the clipping has occurred and that was that little red clipping I, I showed you uh, but I'm not worried about that I don't need to do anything with that but if you were recording something for yourself um, and you don't want that to happen in your CD project. Um, it's telling me that it has clipped. Uh, do I want to delete that file? I'm just going to say no. And this automatically comes back up again. I'm just going to close it out. And it's already put, put the song on my desktop. And there it is, Tempo Change uh, MP3. So back to Studio One very very nice program I don't think you can beat it uh, there's a lot of other nice programs out there that are sophisticated and a very hard learning curve to the interface but this is a pretty nice program and there's tons and tons of video tutorials out there on YouTube uh, to tell you how to do everything in this and um, I hope you like the tutorial I uh, hope you can use it for your benefit and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions just shoot me an email and I will get back to you as soon as I can. 
So have a great day, everybody. Goodbye.